Hello everyone and welcome back. So today we are going to learn a very interesting topic on vector analysis which is called Green's theorem. So we have the statement that So what is written in the statement? If capital R be a closed region of the XY plane bounded by a simple closed curve C. So suppose uh, there is a closed curve. This is a closed curve. And the uh, region bounded by this C is what? R. Okay. So it's a very simple, simple curve. But closed curve. And the area or the region inside this C is what? R. And P and Q are two functions. Both, both are dependent on what? X and Y. Okay. So that means P is a function of X and Y. Similarly, Q is also a function of X and Y. And, continu and having continuous derivative. That means their partial derivative will exist. This means del p by del x and del q by uh, del x, then del p by del y and del q by del y. These are exist. Okay. Then what the Green's the theorem gives us closed integration over C because here the curve is closed. So that's why in integration we have to pu put this closed symbol. So closed integration over C, P dx plus Q dy will be equals to double integration over R because see R, R is what? In the xy plane, right? X and Y. So that's why that will be double integration. So double integration over R, del Q by del X minus del P by del Y whole into what? Dx and dy, right? So this is the statement. So for application, we need only statement. But if you need proof, then you, could, you can check the other video where I have given the proof. Now let us do an example. Uh, there will be two kinds of example. Either we are asked to verify Green's theorem or we have to, uh, we will be given a problem where we have to uh, show that left hand side is equal to our right hand side. Now here in the first problem, what to show, what to ch check, we have to verify for this particular integration, uh, Green's theorem is verified or not. Okay, now what is the integration here? Closed integration over C, then xy plus y square dx plus x square and dy. Okay, now what does it mean? It means that uh, this is our P, so it is P dx and this will be our what? Q, P dx plus Q dy. So what the Gins theorem state the uh, states that closed integration over C, P dx plus Q dy will be equals to double integration over R del Q by del X minus del P by del Y whole into dx dy. So this is our left hand side that we have to find separately and then we will find the right hand side of the Green's theorem. If both are equal, then you can say that what Green's theorem is verified. Okay, now one more important thing, two curves are given. One is y equals to x. Another one is what? Y equal to x square. So first you have to uh, make a diagram. So diagram agar, diagram agar, which which is wrong ho gaya, to jo limit hai, wo limit thik se nahi aega, then we will get a different answer. Okay. So let us draw the diagram. So Y equals to x is nothing but a straight line passing through the origin. Right. Passing through the origin. And what is Y equals to x square? Y equals to x square is a what? Parabola. Parabola uh, like this. Okay. This is the parabola. Okay. Like this, there will be a parabola. So, this particular line, this line, this line is y equals to x, and this is y equals to how much? x square. Right. So, you see, there is a region, this common region. So, inside this common region, we have to check that Green's theorem is verified or not. So, there is another point. So, there are two points of intersection, you see, O and then what? A. So, we have to first find the uh, coordinate of these two points, that is uh, O and A. And then if we draw a line here, so we will get a point, another point B. So, the given uh, curves are the given curves are y equals to x which is equation number one 
and y equals to what x square this is equation number two so first what to do we have to solve these two equation okay we have to solve these two equations to so solve how to solve you see left hand bo uh, in both the cases left hand side are equal so solving one and two we get so if you solve both the equation then you will get two values one is x equal to zero y equals to zero another one is x equals to one and y equals to one now how you see both the in both the cases left hand side is same so from one and two we can write x equals to x square right so if you take x common so if you compare x equal to zero and x equals to what one now if you put x equals to zero right if you put x equals to zero in this equation then you will get y is also zero so i am talking about this part okay so if you put x equals to zero y is also zero similarly if you put x equals to one in the first equation then you will get what y equals to one so this part will come okay so coordinate of uh, o is 0 comma 0 and coordinate of a is how much 1 comma 1 so what will be the coordinate of b then 1 comma 0 okay so this diagram is very very important now we'll go for the calculation first we'll find the left hand side so how to go left hand side see this is the curve right so how we'll go from o to a and then again from a to o then this whole close curve will be complete so pehle hame kya karna hai o se o se a tak jana hoga so when you go o to a then we'll take this uh, parabola path and then when we come back agar hum hum log a se o tak aayenge to we'll come by straight line we can do the reverse also no problem first we'll go from uh, straight line and then we'll come to uh, come back by the parabola so both are correct okay so what we'll do now mm -hmm. along so let, let let me draw draw the graph so that you'll understand okay so this is o this point is what a this is the straight line and this one is the parabola okay now along uh, y equals to x square so we are talking about which one we are talking about the parabola so see from o to a when you go from o to a coordinate of o is 0 0 and coordinate of a is 1 comma 1 right 1 comma 1 so when you grow uh, along this path that is y equals to how much y equals to x square the required integral required integral so the actual integration is what we have taken the actual integration is i right i now for this particular case means for y equal to x square we are supposing that this is i1 a new integral i1 okay. now from o to a so at o what is the limit of x limit of x is how much zero and what is the limit of uh, x at, at the point capital A? 1. So, x goes from 0 to 1. So, we can take the limit of y also. Same thing. Okay. Either we can take the limit of x or we can take the limit of y. Now, since we have taken the limit of x, so everything should be in terms of x. Agar you have a y here, so we cannot integrate. So, what is that first term? You see, mm, x, y plus y square. Okay so x y so we cannot write y now okay y have log nahi sakta hai kyunki jo integration hai uska jo limit hai wo kya hai x ka integration hai so in place of y what we will write now in place of y we are going to write uh, x square okay is it all right x y so it should be, uh, it was x into y so in place of y we have to write x square then plus what is the second term second term is y square okay. so y square so y means x square so y square is x to the power 4 whole into dx so this is our first integral and the second integral second integral, sorry second term second term is it is already x square so no need to change but we have dy so that we have to change so x square then dy how will write dy you see what is the curve 
y equal to x square. So, if you differentiate dy is equals to twice x dx. So, in place of dy, we have to write twice x dx. Now, you see the whole integration is in terms of x. There is no y. Okay. So, now simply integrate it. The first term is x cube. So, after the integration, it will become x to the power 4 by 4. Second term is x to the power 4, it will be become x to the power 5 by uh, 5, then plus 2x cube, right? So, it will be 2 into x to the power 4 by 4, between the limit 0 to 1, okay? Between the limit 0 to 1. So, when we put the limit, first upper limit, then lower limit, and if you calculate, you will get 19 by 20. This term will come, okay? 19 by 20. So, this is I1. So, means... First, we go along this path, O to A. Now, what to do? We have to come back from A to O to complete the whole circle, means whole closed curve. Now, let me denote the second integral as I2. So, it will be along, along which path? Y equals to X. Okay? Along the path, Y equals to X. So, the integral is suppose I2. Okay, so again, like the last part, either we can take the limit of x or we can take, take the limit of y. But now our starting point is what? Our starting point is A and ending point is what? O. So, starting point. At starting point, what is the value of x? 1. So, now our limit will be x equals to 1 to 0. Okay, x equals to 1 to 0. And the path is y equals to x. So, what is the first term? x, y. So, in place of y, what will write? x plus how much? y square. Okay. The second term is y square. So, our y is now x. So, it is x square whole into dx plus x square into dy. So, y equal to x, right? y equal to x. So, what is dy? dy is simple dx. So, dx. Now, integrate it. First is x square, second is also x square, right? x square plus x square is 2x square. So, 2 into integration x square is x cube by 3. Second is also x square. So, x cube by 3 between the limit uh, 1 to 0, okay? So, first we will put upper limit and then we will put lower limit. So, when you calculate, after calculation you will get minus 1, okay? So, I1 is when you go upward, and I2 is when we come down, downwards. Okay, downwards. So, the total integral will be I1 plus I2. So, I is equals to how much? I1 plus I2. So, our I1 is 19 by 20 and I2 is minus 1. So, if we take LCM, it is minus 20. So, our left hand side is done. Means, integration PDX plus QDY, this is done. How much it is? Minus 1 by 20. Now, what we have to do? We have to find the right hand side. Okay. So, let me draw the diagram again. What is the diagram? Right. So, here you have two points O and then A. This is the area. Coordinate of O is 0, 0. This is 1, 1. Right. Uh, this one is y equal to x square. And this is y equals to how much? x. Okay. Now, what we will do? Uh, now, double integration over r, right? Del q by del x minus del p by del y all into dx dy. So, I think you still remember what is the right hand side of the Green's theorem? Double integration over R, del Q by del X minus del P by del Y, DX into DY. Now, see what is our P? Our P is XY plus Y square and Q is what? Uh, X square. So, our P is XY plus Y square and our Q is X square, right? So, what to find? Del Q by del X. Del Q by del x. So, it's very simple twice x and then we have to find del p by del y. So, del p by del y. So, if you are differentiating partial with respect to y then x is constant. So, it is x plus how much? Twice y. Okay. x plus twice y. So, let me put the values equals to integration. 
now see we have to put the limit okay we have to put the limit so there are two variables x and y since double integration no so we have to put the limit of both so one integration we, we can we have to put directly means from o to a okay so before coming to this part i'll suggest you to go through the line integral surface integral and volume integral very carefully and practice those sums so that how to put the limit okay when we have to take which path then that that part will be clear so you can find all this video in the uh, in the previous lectures okay so first you have to find the put the limit of x directly so directly means from o to a so at o the value of x is how much zero and at, at a the value is how much one so the limit is zero to one but the limit of y should be how much from lower curve to upper curve so what is lower curve you see we check the area lower curve at lower curve y equal to how much y equal to x square at lower curve y equal to x square and upper curve means we are talking about the straight line at the upper curve y is how much x so limit of x is direct from 0 to 1 and limit of y is from lower curve to upper curve now del q by del x okay del q by del x so how much it is del q by del x twice x minus del p by del y so del p by del y is how much x plus twice y right whole into how much dx and then dy now which integral we have to do first so already i have discussed all these things in the previous lectures but still i am saying again so now see you have to y ka jo limit hai y y the limit of y is dependent on what x y ka limit mein x hai so agar ek particular limit mein dusra ek variable aa gaya to pehle hame us integration ko karna hoga since the limit of y is dependent on x so first we have to integrate it with respect to x so uh, y sorry with respect to y so jo x ka limit hai wo as it is rahega to hame pehle kya karna hai with respect to y is integrate karna hai okay so there is no y there is no y in, in this part or we can do one more thing you see twice x minus x twice x minus x is how much twice x minus x is x so x into x is constant because hum log with respect to y se integrate karenge so twice x minus x is x and then integration dy is how much y okay integration dy is y minus next is what twice y we have how much twice y so 2 into how much y square by 2 between the limit x square to x uh, now we have only dx because we already integrate with respect to y now integration x equals to 0 to 1 now we have to put the limit in place of y not in place of x okay in place of y so first we'll put the upper limit so upper limit means in place of y you have to put x so it will be x square 2 to cancel minus x square so first time will vanish okay first we put the upper limit minus now we'll put the lower limit so if we put the lower limit it will become x cube minus x to the power 4 dx right so first integral is cancel out now let us integrate it minus x cube so it will be minus x to the power 4 by 4 minus minus plus x to the power 5 by 5 okay x to the power 5 by 5 between the limit how much 0 to 1 so when you put the limit it is minus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 5 so if you calculate if you calculate what you will get you will get minus 1 by how much 20 right so it's 20 minus yes minus 1 by 20 now you see our left hand side and right hand side is same left side is and right hand side is same so what you can write hence greens theorem is what verified okay so i hope it is very much clear to all of you now we'll do some more problem in the next video because if i add some more problem in this particular video it will be a little bit long so we'll do some more problems on green's theorem but in the next video okay so thank you for watching and if you understand then kindly share with your friends